Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners. My name is Matt Hulquist with QuickBooks University, and I want to walk through how to correctly record the payment on a loan. Okay, so I see this quite a bit with uh, QuickBooks users and business owners, as well as bookkeepers. Okay, there's a couple of different ways that they're going to record um, payments on a loan, and we want to make sure that we split these up and do them the right way. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started uh, here on the screen. So we're going to make some assumptions here. We're going to assume that we have a, uh, a loan, and I'm going to pull up the balance sheet, the sample company file, and I'll show you. Uh, so we have some, see here, we have loans for vehicles, utility truck, pickup truck, etc. Okay, so these have all been recorded already. All right. Now, there is a certain way to record the purchase of a vehicle or construction equipment, furniture and fixtures when it is financed. I do have uh, other videos on this topic, so I'm not going to go through how we're going to record that. But I do want to go through how to correctly record the payment on a loan. All right. OK, so let's say that we get a bill. Uh, and I'll go through two scenarios in this video, but first of all, we're going to say that we get a bill. Okay, so we get uh, a bill from the bank for a loan payment. Okay, so we're going to say bank of any city. Uh, we'll say the date is 1215. You're going to put in your reference number here, which if you have an invoice number, typically on a loan payment, you're not going to get an invoice number. Uh, but um, you can, if you do, you can put that in here. Okay, so we're going to say that the amount due is $951.75. Okay, so on a loan payment, typically you're going to have the same payment every single month. And that payment is going to be broken down between principal on the loan and interest. So you're, you're paying back the loan part of it, and part of it is an interest expense that you owe the bank. All right, okay, so. Continuing this example, we'll say the due date is 1225. Okay, so you'll see right here this pre filled to split the transaction. This is called a split transaction. And you'll see that part of it goes to notes payable. Okay, that's going to be the principal portion on the loan. All right, it's a long term liability in this sample company file, and it's going to be a liability. And the rest of it goes to interest expense. Okay, so part of it is paying back a loan and part of it is interest expense. So you need to break down this payment and it's going to be different every single time. Okay, every loan has what's called an amortization schedule. And that just shows the, the breakout between principal and interest over the term of the loan. So it starts off with low principal, high interest. And over time, when you get to the end of the loan, it's going to be high principal, low interest. So you need to know what the breakout of the payment is. And sometimes on loan statements, uh, it'll show you that this amount goes to principal, this amount goes to interest. Okay. So when you enter the bill, okay, we're going to say that, you know, let's say 600 goes to uh, principal and the other 351.75 goes to interest. All right. So we hit save and close. I didn't class it, so it's alerting me. Uh, so you want to make sure that you class this correctly. I'm going to hit save anyway. All right, so that's how you're going to record the bill. And then when you go to pay it, it's just paying it like any other bill. Okay, you'll see Bank of Any City. You're going to pay the bill and go from there. Okay, let me get rid of this. No, we don't want to record those. Okay, so it's really, really important to to make that split, that's called a split transaction, to break that out between principal and interest on each one of your payments. And the reason is that way you get the right loan balance in your books. And you also, uh, and when I say loan balance, I mean on the balance sheet here, the loan balance here for Bank of Any City, 3209321, you wanna make sure that matches what the bank shows. Then also you're recording the right interest expense. Okay, so now let's say that this is like an ACH transaction. Okay, so um, I have uh, some loans in my business and I just have them automatically drafted out of my account, the payments. Okay, so in that case, what we're going to do 
is, and, and I've got this open windows here. Um, I'm just going to go to my checking account. Okay, so if I'm recording this, and I, let's say I don't have bank feed set up, so I'm just recording this. Uh, let's, you'll see here on the next line, okay, I'm going to put in EFT. That's just the way I sig signify that this was a draft. You can put ACH, you can put debit, whatever you want to put. Okay, EFT. I'm going to put bank of any city. Okay, and you'll see here uh, what I want to do. I'm going to clear this but it brings up this split screen. Okay, let me close this. Okay, so normally if you don't have it, that, that came up automatically. So let's say that it doesn't come up automatically. You're gonna say, okay, what account do I put this to? Well, you're gonna click on the splits, all right? And over here, you're gonna split this out just like on that bill. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh, bank of any city, okay, $600. And I'm going to leave the class blank. And then over here, I'm going to put in, let's make sure that it's going to interest expense. We'll say loan interest and 351.75. And you'll see it puts in the amount right here. We hit close. And now we've split it between principal and interest. Okay, so we hit record. And there we go. All right. So again, incredibly important to make sure that you record your, your principal and interest correctly on your loans. It's going to keep your book straight and uh, make things much easier at the end of the day. All right. Any questions, comments, uh, leave them below. Happy to answer those. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University. Love to teach you QuickBooks over there. And uh, also as a member, um, I do answer personal questions. All right. I do that a couple different ways. Uh, but um, a lot of people have questions on their specific QuickBooks file, and that's what I'm there to do is answer those when you purchase the training tutorials. Website is qbuniversity.org. I really look forward to helping you out over there.